So here is how to find the trigonometric value of an angle. So first of all, you notice our angle. We always want to sketch our angle first. And we have a negative here, which means that we're rotating. Instead of rotating the normal way, like this way, nope, we are rotating the other way. We're rotating pi over 4. If we remember, pi over 4 is 45 degrees. So we're going to rotate backward like this. 45 degrees. So first, we need the reference angle. Don't forget, we always reference the ground. Remember trying to get out of that screamer, you always wanted to go to the ground. So here we are on the circle. We're going to go to the ground, and that makes a beautiful right angle. And then here is our reference angle. Since it's pi over 4, we know this is pi over 4, or 45 degrees. So it's a 45 degree or pi over 4 triangle. If you remember from our <coughs> triangles, pi, 45 degree triangle is an isosceles triangle, pi over 4, with sides 1, 1, and when you use the Pythagorean theorem, you get root 2. So we're going to use this triangle. So let's go ahead and label this triangle inside of here. So this side is going to be what? 1. And this side is also going to be 1, but don't forget, we're going down, so it's negative 1. And then the hypotenuse, as we saw up here, is root 2. So now we have our 1, negative 1, root 2. So cosine of pi over 4. If you remember, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, so cosine of this angle, what is the adjacent side? 1. And what is the hypotenuse? Root 2. And then we want to rationalize. So remember to rationalize, you're going to multiply. You don't want to change the value of the fraction, just how it looks. So we're going to just multiply it by the number 1. But the number 1 is going to be a big fancy number 1, a giant 1 which is root 2 over root 2. So you notice root 2 over root 2 literally equals 1, so you're not changing the value of this fraction. So 1 times root 2 is root 2, and root 2 times root 2, I'm going to do that down here. Root 2 times root 2 is 4, and the square root of 4 is 2. So your final answer is root 2 over 2. Now luckily, cosine was... Cosine was positive here, but if this had been sine of negative pi over 4, remember the sine is the opposite over hypotenuse, so the opposite is actually negative 1, so this would have been negative root 2 over 2 if it would have been sine, negative root 2 over 2. So you always have to be careful. Always draw your triangle in its right quadrant. This is quadrant 4, and that's going to say, hey, any point in quadrant four. Like for instance, if I didn't have this big awesome right triangle, so let's just erase all of this. Da -da 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 -da. And say you just had some random point in quadrant four, any point you want, say it was like right here. So let's go see what that point is called. So to get to this point on the x, y plane, maybe you have to go over one, two, three, four, and then down one, two, three, four, five. So this point would have been 4, negative 5. So you've gone over positive 4 and down negative 5. That's the same thing we're doing here, because remember, the x value is cosine, and the y value is sine. And so the cosine here was positive, and the sine was negative, because the x value was positive and the y was negative to go over 4 and get down to 5. 